It is Thursday, October 24th, 2024. This is episode of the episode of the this is episode 41 of the Carl's Whitaker Podcast. And I got one single question for you. Y'all ready for this? Come on, come on. Welcome to a very quick, short, uh, but authentic, authentic episode of the Carlos Whitaker Podcast. Today is the day I screen my movie to the world. Today's the day that that the planet, not the planet, my planet, (laughs) 230 some odd friends of mine will be in a theater in Nashville, Tennessee, watching Reconnected, the documentary. And I, I think what I wanted to do, I just wanted to kind of lean into what I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm feeling a lot. And I thought, I don't know, I thought it would just be like a super exciting day where I'm just like pumped and I'm, you know, leaning into all the good feelings that should be accompanying. But the truth is, I'm scared. And uh, the truth is, I'm, I'm just a little scared. I'm scared of, you know, people not liking it. This is, this is the crux I find myself in. I have done a lot of things in my life. I've helped a lot of people. I can stand on a stage. I can give a 40-minute, one-hour keynote in front of, you know, nursing home workers, in front of accountants, in front of energy workers, in front of a church, in front of, you know, Christendom. And I feel completely confident. But what I don't feel confident in is something I've never done before. And that is make a movie. You know, this whole movie thing started when I went, when I decided to take, it was a last second decision to take this little Sony camera with me on my journey. And initially I just wanted to record myself talking every night so that I could remember exactly what, what I did so I could write the book, right? The book just came out. The more I spent time with the camera, the more I was like, well, let me interview this person. Uh, and then I started, you know, being like, well, let me record myself doing some things with the idea that quite possibly, possibly toward the beginning of the book being released, I could release, I don't know, like a five or 10 minute YouTube thing that I edit. So like, I never had the intention of all of this being shown to planet Earth. I've never had the intention of somebody taking all of this footage and turning it into a movie, which my friend Hodges did. And here was a crazy thing. Hodges, he, he got about 60 hours of footage, I think. And with that 60 hours of footage, he turned it into a story arc. Again, I wasn't filming this in a way that is like conducive to a documentary. I didn't film this in a way that I thought I would anyone like people like people would be watching it like a movie, right? Like, so like it wasn't made to be a movie and what he did, this is why he's brilliant. Maybe I'll have him on the podcast soon, but, but he turned it into a movie, which is just, you know, it's like, it's like dumping. I don't know. It would be like, like 40 journals and I ripped all the pages out and I threw them in a trash can, crumbled them up. And then Hodges came out and dumped them all out. And turn that into a book, even though he didn't know what page goes in front of the other. When it comes to hiring, what is the best way to do it? If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data. So listen, you can ditch the busy work, use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging, so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree. Indeed delivers the highest quality candidates compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is their user interface. It is amazing. And here's the thing. Listeners of the show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash human hope. Just go to Indeed.com slash human hope right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash human hope. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. I'm always looking for ways to make drinking water easier, and I don't even want to think about it. That's why my family loves our Aqua True Water Purifier. Listen, this is why you have to check it out because Aqua True Purifiers use a four stage reverse osmosis purification process, and their countertop purifiers, they do that as well with no installation or plumbing. 
It removes 15 times more contaminants than the ordinary pitcher filters, and they're specifically designed to combat chemicals like PFAS in your water supply. PFAS are found in almost 45% of U.S. tap water, and I'm grateful that AquaTrue is certified to remove these contaminants. And listen, they have water purifiers to fit every type of home, from installation-free countertop purifiers to higher capacity under the sink options. They even have Wi-Fi connected, that's fun, purifiers and mineral boost options. Okay, listen, long-term exposure to high concentration of PFAS can potentially lead to adverse health effects like cancer, or all kinds of other liver toxicity, which is why I'm glad AquaTrue removes PFAS. The filters, they're affordable, they're long lasting, no changing filters every two to three months. AquaTrue filters last from six months to two years. We have them and we love them. AquaTrue comes with a 30 day money back guarantee and even makes a great gift. Today, my listeners receive 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. Just go to AquaTrue.com. That's A-Q-U-A-T-R-U.com and enter code HUMANHOPE at checkout. That's 20% off any AquaTrue water purifier when you go to AquaTrue.com and use promo code H-U-M-A-N-H-O-P-E. So, yeah, all of that gives me pause, right? All of that gives me, gives me the need to pause and take a deep breath and realize, although I didn't turn this into a movie yet, or make this into a movie initially on purpose, it is a movie now. And it's a good one. And I think the other, the other thing is, is you know, this is me talking, I'm just talking to myself, this is self-talk therapy, is that okay? The other thing is, is that, you know, not only did I not plan on this being a documentary, but I have to keep reminding myself that it's not the book. Does that make sense? Like, this is not the book. The book is completely different. This is a peek into some of the scenes of the book, but it's not the book. You know, the book I had creative control over because I was, you know, I wrote it. And so every chapter has lessons and way, handlebars you can grab onto to lessen your screen time, all the things. Whereas this, the movie didn't, doesn't really have that. I think it's a good sidekick companion to the book, uh, but it doesn't have that. It basically just shows the journey of a man that everybody I think is going to be interested in watching. So. Gosh, I'm just, I, I don't know why I just felt like I wanted to say this stuff out loud today. I just wanted to let you know kind of where my heart was, where my head was uh, when it comes to this movie that I'm releasing, this documentary in the world. And so like Friday, so now, right now is Wednesday. So as you hear this, people will have already watched it in the theater in Nashville. And then tomorrow the Kickstarters get it. And so, you know, I just, have like three days of trying to breathe and not be stressed when it comes to my emotions right now. It's a lot, but I'm really excited. I'm, I'm excited that the movie, well, first of all, I'm excited that everyone backed it on Kickstarter. So that's just, I'm grateful for that. But I'm, I'm grateful also that, you know, it feels like a film. It feels like a documentary. I watched it, uh, this is, I probably watched it 10 times now. Gets better every single time because we keep adding things to it and taking things away. We we got a, a Insta Family composer from London to come in and compose, score the film, different parts of the film. And yeah, I'm just, I'm proud of it, but I'm, I'm just stressed. What, what do you guys do when you, when you start feeling the overwhelming stress of fear? You know, like, like what do you do? Like what I do is I, I pray the promise, not the problem. I'm going to do it right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to quote scripture, but it's going to be a prayer. And I'm going to see how I feel at the end. I am the body of Christ and Satan has no power over me for I have overcome evil with good. I am of God and have overcome him for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I will fear no evil for you are with me, Lord. Your word and your spirit, they comfort me. I am far from oppression. Fear does not come near me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper for my righteousness is of the Lord. And whatever I do will prosper for I'm like a tree that's planted by the rivers of living water. I feel better already. Actually feel better. I should do it again. I'll, I'll, I'll hit pause on the podcast and do that again. What, what about you guys? What are you scared of right now? And how can you be brave? The truth will set you free. And the truth for me is that I believe that this documentary is going to be helpful for people and enjoyable for people to watch. One of the, one of the other things about making a movie that you, know, you never know about is just how expensive it is. <laughs> you know, all the funding that I raised on Kickstarter didn't cover the entire film. I still had to invest in it. And, you know, it's, it's risky. 
it's risky to do something like this. We don't even have a plan yet on how we're going to distribute it. So if we don't have a plan on how we're going to distribute it, I, I don't know how we're going to make the money back on it yet. But I'm hoping that, you know, enough people like it to where a streaming platform will pick it up. Then we can stream it and then it'll be all Gucci. Typical children's vitamins are basically candy in disguise, filled with two teaspoons of sugar, unhealthy chemicals, and other gummy junk growing kids should never eat. That's why Haya was created, the pediatrician-approved, super-powered, chewable vitamin. While most children's vitamins are filled with five grams of sugar and can contribute to a variety of health issues, Haya is made with zero sugar and zero gummy junk, yet it tastes amazing, absolutely amazing. Haya is designed for kids two years old and up, and it's sent straight to your door so parents have one less thing to worry about. The same multivitamin that more than a million kids and parents love are now available in Barbie Pink with a limited edition Barbie unboxing experience, including Barbie bottle and Barbie stickers. We've worked out a special deal with Haya for their best-selling children's vitamin. Receive 50% off your first order. To claim this deal, you must go to HayaHealth.com slash Human Hope. This deal is not available on the regular website. Go to dot com slash Human Hope and get your kids the full body nourishment they need to grow into healthy adults. The Carlos Whitaker Podcast is sponsored by Better Help. Halloween lets us have fun with what scares us, but... What about those fears that don't involve zombies and ghosts? Therapy is a great tool for facing your fears and finding ways to overcome them. Because sometimes the scariest thing is not facing our fears in the first place and holding ourselves back. I have benefited from therapy. I've talked about Al, my therapist, and it has legitimately transformed my life. So listen, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Overcome your fears with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash human hope today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash human hope. I, I literally, I'm, it's like we're nine minutes in and I'm out of stuff to say because I'm just a little worried. Not worried. I'm not worried. I'm just a little anxious about it. I haven't been this anxious in a while. And here I am, anxious Carlos, talking to you on a podcast. Um, sorry there's no video on this podcast today. The battery stopped working on my camera. But it'll still be on YouTube. You can listen to it as you watch a black screen. I am done traveling for the year. Maybe we'll just do a little catch up. I'm done traveling. I got a couple of other, a couple of things lined up coming up, but not work related. And so I've got a couple months of resting and the Lord providing and dreaming. You know, we got some dream sessions as a management team coming up about what we're going to do next year. I'm building, I'm actually building some stuff for the Carlos Whitaker podcast listeners, the Insta Familia. I'm trying to not travel as much as I did as I have been. I'm just really exhausted and I'm trying to figure out how I can deliver to you, the listener, the Carlos Whitaker consumer, more of what it is you want, what it is you desire. So if you guys have any ideas as to what that might be, let me know. No, honestly, I would love to know like, what's the thing that I help you with the most? And then I want to build something around it. That's really what I want is to keep making things for you and making things that, that are helpful for you. You know, it could be a video course. It could be, you know, some people want a video course on like how to become a public speaker, how to become an author. Some people want a video course on, you know, some people want a community or something on how to disconnect from their phones or how to be human better or And so like, I've got a lot that I've written about, but I'm just kind of like, what is it that you want? What does everybody want? Do you want a community? Can I create a community that we, I hang out with you more one-on-one face-to-face on Zoom and all the things? I had a blast on Sharon's book club the other night. And I think to myself, that is something that I could get used to. That is something that I enjoy. I wonder if the Insta Familia could do something like that. You know, is there a way we can, I thought about combining my How to Human and Reconnected book and doing something called Human School. Uh, what would that look like? You know, I don't know. I'm just dreaming. I'm dreaming. I mean, honestly, I could do like kill the spider, enter wild, how to human and reconnect it. And we can dive deep into all of the, 
the ways we can better our lives and ourselves through the lived experience that I've had and all the, you know, hopefully all of the wisdom that I've garnered through the years and that I've written in these books. That might be something, you know, it could be community about that. I don't know. I just am feeling I want a little bit more of us, a little bit more community. So let's figure it out. Let's do it. What do you guys think? We're 13 minutes in. I just want to keep this real. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I am ready for this movie to happen tonight. (laughs) It's all I can think about. Just, I don't know what it is sitting in a room with all these people watching me hold my camera. (sighs) Won't he do it? Okay. I'm going to drop Dr. Delight in. I'm going to let you guys go after, I don't know, 15 minutes. And I'll see you next week on another episode of the Carlos Whitaker Podcast.